Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, you're tuned to coppiperadio.com.au. This is Mick Toot, episode 141. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mick Toot. Bolia, how are you? How are you going? How you do, B? How you going? All right, coming up in today's uh, 15, 10 songs that have been released this week. Yep, today you're going to hear Ryan Kid Duziri X, Part Time, uh, Peace, and uh, Citric Dummies. Yeah, that's what's coming up. That is what's coming up. And all the songs you hear today are available for purchase on the internet. You can just go to the YouTube page and there'll be links where you can go and purchase this stuff. Go and help the little man. Help the little guy. Yes, go and do that. But today first we're going to go to New South Wales, just over there, just off to the right there, um, Aladala is the place. Aladala is the name of the town where this man came from. R.M.F.C is the name of the band. They're now situated in Sydney. You can get out and go see them in Sydney. Um, this is off their album released by Annie Fade Records. We're playing Spectrum and this is off the album called Club Hits. We're going to play the introduction and then it's going to go into Spectrum. I don't have my friend in the toot. 141. Oh, yeah. Little cracker.
Hello, welcome back to Nick Toot 141. Yes, and from New Jersey, you just heard Nylon with the single called uh, PC Violence. Before them, Ryan Kidd. Um, yeah, that was a little cracker by Ryan Kidd. Degenerate is the name of that track, and that's off Ryan Kidd. The album called Ryan Kid, but Kid's got an extra D on it. Released by Human B Side Records, and at the top of the show from Ulla Dulla in New South Wales, um, but they've relocated to Sydney. R dot M dot F dot C. Uh, we played Spectrum off the album Club Hits, released by Annie Fade Records. Okay, let's go to uh, Iowa. In the US, the band's called Why Bother. The track is Verbally Traumatized Diseases. Oh my god, verbally traumatized diseases, and it's off the album called Calling All Goons. Goon Bags in the Toot. On the trigger, you'll get leaned at the checkpoint. Little children going to adults and teens at the checkpoint. All your papers better be clean at the checkpoint. Gotta put your finger on the screen at the checkpoint. And pray that red light turns green at the checkpoint. And Martin Luther King had a dream of the checkpoint. He wake with loud screams from the scenes at the checkpoint. His mouth from X by any means at the checkpoint. Imagine if your daily routine was the checkpoint. And Martin Luther King had a dream of the checkpoint. He wake with loud screams from the scenes at the checkpoint. His mouth from X by any means at the checkpoint Imagine if your daily routine was the checkpoint Separation walls that surround in the checkpoint On top is barbed wire like a crown on the checkpoint Better have your permits if you found at the checkpoint Coming on the tower aiming down at the checkpoint Idea is to keep you in fear at the checkpoint Enter through the cage in the rear of the checkpoint Feels like prison on a tear at the checkpoint I'd rather be anywhere but here at the checkpoint Nelson Mandela wasn't blind to the checkpoint He stood for free Palestine not a checkpoint support BDS don't give a dime to the checkpoint This is international crime at the checkpoint Arabs get treated like dogs at the checkpoint Cause discrimination is the law at the checkpoint Criminalized without a cause at the checkpoint I'm just telling you what I saw at the checkpoint 
point Soldiers got bad attitudes at the checkpoint Condescending and real rude at the checkpoint Don't look them in their eyes when they move at the checkpoint They might strip a man or woman nude at the checkpoint Soldiers might blow you out the shoes at the checkpoint Gas you up and in like the fuse at the checkpoint Every day you stand to be accused at the checkpoint Each time your life you can lose at the checkpoint And Martin Luther King had a dream at the checkpoint He wake with loud screams from the scenes at the checkpoint is Malcolm X by any means at the checkpoint Imagine if your daily routine was the checkpoint And Martin Luther King had a dream with a checkpoint He went with loud screams from the scenes at the checkpoint is Malcolm X by any means at the checkpoint Imagine if your daily routine was the checkpoint At the airport in Tel Aviv is a checkpoint They pulled over our taxi at the checkpoint Passport, visa, ID at the checkpoint Soldiers going all through my things at the checkpoint I was high risk security at the checkpoint Cause of the oppression I see at the checkpoint Occupation in the third degree at the checkpoint All a nigga wanna do is leave Fuck a checkpoint 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 Hello, welcome back to The Toot. Right, you were just listening to Combat Tribe, excuse me, with their song Dead Zone. That's from their album Bad Dudes Part 2. They're from LA in the US. Jaziri X was before them and we played the single Checkpoint. I'm not sure where, where that's from, but we know what it's about. And at the top of the bracket, Why Bother from Iowa. And we played Verbally Traumatised Diseases from the album Calling All Goons. Oh, the Gooners. Okay, now let's... Um, they sound American anyway. This band's called Part-Time Filth. The name of the song is My Name is Filth. Oh dear, where are we headed towards here? So there you go, that's all I got. Don't know where it's from, but it's a live version. Live. Live filth in the two.
So, I think I always knew Glasgow. I can hardly believe this is happening. I always knew that I was a Scotch man. And so I always knew. And, but, Scottish. Uh, yeah, Scottish. Thank you for correcting me, sorry. Uh, you know, it was an error I made on purpose for comic effect. And I'm glad that there's so little trust in me in the room that people are going, he's a fucking idiot. He doesn't know. He's insane. What's he talking about? He hasn't done the most basic research, but... No, but I always... No, even despite that, I always knew that I was Scottish in my heart, in my brave heart. I always knew that I was. Okay, shout out if you've seen the film Braveheart. You've all seen it. Shout out. Okay, now you'll know more than any other audience I've played in the last three weeks that Braveheart is the shittest film ever made, right? It was. It was directed by the reactionary Catholic bigot Mel Gibson, and it's full of basic fundamental historical errors which insult your race and mine by association, right? Here's, here's just three off the top of my head. Firstly, William Wallace Braveheart, your national hero, he wasn't some, you know, noble savage living in a mud hut. We all know that. He was a privileged, educated nobleman, right? Secondly, it's not mentioned by Mel Gibson in the film, but there's some evidence to suggest that he actually fought as a mercenary for the English as a teenager. That's conveniently missed out. Thirdly, you know that French princess? He's supposed to have sex with this French princess in the film, you remember? And the implication is that he gets her pregnant and she marries Edward II of England, so it's his kid. Now, she was a real historical figure, that French princess. But, at the time of the death of William Wallace, Braveheart, your national hero, she was only four years old. <laughs> now, Glasgow, I'm not saying that William Wallace, Braveheart, your national hero, didn't have sex with her. <laughs> You know, he probably did. If I look at my own personal background, there's a lot of sexual opportunism involved in it. But um, not saying he did now, so he probably did. But if he did, and he did, he definitely did, right? It would have been a far less romantic scene than the one enacted by Mel Gibson in the film Braveheart. It may have.
Oh dear, crikey, sorry about that ending there, but I think you got the gist of it there. That was from Adelaide, yeah, Adelaide, just over here, just um, Parkside sort of area of Adelaide. You just heard, it's called A Peace, um, A-P-E-A-C-E, and um, Halloween 2023. There you go, type that into YouTube and you might get there, um, you might not, but yeah, shout out to Yoko and Jason. Um, before them, Sin Tessus, with, um, we played their song Vandello's 89, that's off the up and coming album released by Akron Records, and at the top of the bracket... 
Part Time Filth, we played their song My Name is Filth. All right, let's go to 1992, Oxford in the UK. The band's called Ride, and we're going to play Time of Her Time, and that's off the classic album, Going Blank Again. Blinkers in the blinkers in the tutors. تتهنى ترش الوسايد بالعطر والحنة ترش الوسايد بالعطر والحنة يا داري هنا وابنيها يا بنا والفرح إلنا والعرس تتهنى والفرح إلنا والعرس تتهنى والداري داري والبيوت بيوتي وحنا خاطبنا يا عدو موتي وحنا خاطبنا يا عدو موتي يا بي مريم لا تكن عبوسي واسمح بوجك واعطيها العروسي واسمح بوجك واعطيها العروسي يا بي مريم لا تكن طماعي والمال يفنى والناس بنفاعي والمال يفنى والناس بنفاعي
Okay, welcome back to Mick Toot 141. There you go. That was Part Time, and that was from their 2013 album, PDA. We played I Belong to You. Before that, a Palestinian folk song that I couldn't um, get the name of. But anyway, a lovely little Palestinian thing there. And at the top of that bracket, Ride from Oxford in the UK. We played off of their 1992 album, Going Blank Again. We played Time of Her Time. Okay, two more, and then the Goldie Oldie. Let's go to Minneapolis in the US. The band's called Citric Dummies. The song is Everyone I Know Will Forget Me. Oh, that's sad. Everyone I Know Will Forget Me, and it's off the album Zen and the Arcade. Yeah, Zen and the Arcade of Beating Your Ass. (laughs) Zen and the Arcade of Beating Your Ass. There you go. Oh, don't be so sad. Okay, okay. beat Nass is in the two. Bye. 
buy me presents We don't have to kiss, we don't even have to mention filthy sweet things I'll pay for your drugs, yeah, I'll even buy you a sex tape But please keep me near you, cause people like you make me Well, there you go, from release by Dark Entries Records, that band's called Nervous Gender, we played People Like You from their album Music From Hell, and at the top of the short bracket, from Minneapolis in the US, we played a, we played Citric Dummies, and um, what did we play? We played Everyone I Know Will Forget Me off the album Zen and the Arcade of Beating Your Ass. Oh dear, that sounds... Oh dear. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit funny, isn't it? Oh. Okay, it's that time again for the Goldie Oldie Oldie Goldie. The Goldie Oldie for the Mick Toot 141. <laughs> Yes, it's that time again, Goldie Oldie, and today let's go to 1940 um, around Chicago area. The artist is called Elmore James, and we're going to play It Hurts Me Too, this yeah, from his 1940 single. Um, released by Blueboard, Bluebird Records, um, Elmore James, born in Mississippi in 1918. And so on and so forth, inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1992. Yes, nice little achievement there. Okay, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, you can go to our website, coppiperadio.com.au, and you can listen to all the shows there. Oh, well, slow down a bit because... There's been a bit of a transition here at Copper Pipe, and um, yeah, we're in the middle of getting them all up on the website, but at the moment, um, you can listen, uh, well, go to our YouTube channel, and all the recent shows will be up on the YouTube channel there, so you so you can keep up with um, all the toots and the Zara's. And um, we'll get some sound poultry up there soon. Oh, and let's go back to the Adelaide band. We played um, uh, it, the the song. Um, it was Our Peace and Halloween 2023. I did a shout out to Yoko and Jason. That's part of the Tag Sound Academy. So if you type in Tag Sound Academy, A Peace Halloween 2023, hopefully you'll get close to that local act here, Adelaide. Adelaide. All right, um, we don't have any socials. No socials in the toot. But you can go to our website, and at the top of the home, pa- at the bottom of the home page, there's a message board there, and you can contact us through that. And that's about it. Support your local, support your locals. And yeah, all right. Try to keep the good out, Brussels sprout, and we'll scratch you later, alligator. Here you go, Elmore James, um, It Hurts Me Too, from 1940. Oh, it hurts me. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Toot, toot, toot. Yes. 